As many of you know, American military has been giving aid to Gaza, food aid. I wish I had one of those food aid packets to review here. But wait, oh, look at that. Humanitarian daily ration, menu number one. Let's see what that's about. Originally, these were in yellow, but as it turns out, during the initial invasion of Afghanistan, the cluster bombs that were unexploded were also yellow packets. I don't know if they were the same size, but approximately. So there was some issues, we'll say, of people seeing yellow in a field, go and pick it up, and then it wasn't food. It was an unexploded munition. So they made them... Salmon pink. See, it's almost the same as a military MRE. Comes in this nice little pack here. This is actually enough for a full day. It's got more than one meal in it. There we go. One thing that's different for sure is that it doesn't have any beverages, which is weird. You'd think they'd throw some tea in here. These are made for pretty much anybody in the world. It doesn't have any meat. There's, uh, it's not it's like specifically halal or kosher or anything like that, but there's no meat. So you don't have to worry about, you know, Hindus with beef or pork and all that with uh, Jews and Muslims. And also the caloric intake is a little bit lower than a regular MRE. I've, I don't know if it's legend or fact, but apparently when they were passing out military MREs to Somalians, it was making them sick because there was so many calories and just malnourished people were not used to that. And obviously if you're starving and then you eat a lot, you can get sick. So these come with, what do we got here? Vegetarian barley stew. It's actually pretty good. It, it's better than some of the military MREs. Peanut butter, classic. I've seen some of these with sunflower butter, but I haven't seen those in a while. And the sunflower butter tastes kind of weird anyway. Strawberry jam. I've seen blackberry even. Like these are usually pretty good. Got a shortbread cookie. These will probably break your teeth if if they're defective or you got like messed up teeth. This is pretty hard. But like if you had your own drink, because obviously it doesn't come with when you put it in there, you know, a little dunking action there. That might work out pretty well. What I like to do. You know, like you get the munchies or something, you just put peanut butter and jelly right onto here, and then, you know, eat it like a British person with all that stuff on there. That's actually pretty solid. Unfrosted brown sugar pastry. It's a Pop Tart. Sometimes these have actual, like, single serving, like, prison Pop Tarts inside this pack, but this doesn't feel like that. This is an actual. Was it Natick Labs Pop Tart? It was this Sopaco Pop Tart? And I like them. They're pretty good. Fig Bar. Now, something I noticed this case that I got recently is usually it would have that weird shortbread cookie and then like the best oatmeal cookie I've ever had. But this case in particular seems to have fig bars. And. A couple of years ago, I had a case of these, and the fig bar was like two military-grade fig bars, you know, like Fig Newton. Lately, and probably in this case, it's two Fig Newtons sealed up in here, and it's not as good. Who would have thought that military labs would make a better Fig Newton than Fig Newton does? Vegetable crackers, classic. These taste really weird with the peanut butter and jelly. That's why I usually put it on the cookie, but... These, set them aside, you got something else going on, or you can 
crush them up inside of one of the meals. So usually in a military MRE, you'd have drinks and stuff in here. Something nice about these though, as opposed to military MRE, they all come with crushed red pepper, which is really nice. I wish it came with two, but I got one in there. Decent. Usually the matches are kind of weird too, but we'll see how these turn out. And lastly, lentil stew. I don't think I've seen this one. So we'll start off with that one. Could be exciting. Um, these used to also come with a piece of paper with the happiest person in the entire world you'd ever see eating. As you see, it's on the case here. That is definitely the happiest face you've ever seen. I'm like, damn, this shit's good. Obviously, it's to demonstrate, you know, like, it's food. Don't be afraid of it. But look at that guy. He's so happy. All right, we're going to start off with lentil stew. I was talking before about the piece of paper that used to be in these. Now there is the cardboard still, and they added that happiest man in the entire world onto the cardboard itself. See, food gift from the people of the United States of America. Hey, that's us. So there you go. Tax dollars at work. Not always bombs and guns and such, but... After someone gets blown up, you can drop food on them, and that's these. Open our accessory pack here and get that spoon out of there. It's a pack of matches. I don't see it specifically on these, but I've, I might be misremembering. I think there was instructions or pictures of putting these in the boiling water. I mean, you still could, but I don't see anything specifically showing to do that now. But theoretically, they give you matches for that. Start a fire. Fresh nap, classic. It's probably dry as hell. They always are. Crushed red pepper, excellent. Salt and pepper. Another classic. Then they give you sugar. So no beverages. Also no toilet paper, but whatever. Sugar, but no drinks. Kind of met you halfway there. You'd think that they would give you, again, like most of the world drinks, tea. Maybe throw a tea in here or coffee or something, but got the sugar at least. And I guess maybe that's harder to come by in whatever country you may be in than sugar. So, all right. I don't know how well you can see that. Mm. This is definitely the least clean one. So I can almost guarantee when I open the other one, it's going to be like a solid brick. This is definitely juicy, we'll say. It's a little moist. Let's see how that is. It's salty. I'll tell you that much. Salty, but not as salty as some of them I have had. This is pretty good, though. It tastes kind of like if you got just the sauce from SpaghettiOs and then put, like, shit, it looks like maybe, like, 10 grains of rice in here. And I know it says lentils, but I've never really seen lentils shaped like that. Maybe they're smushed up or something. It's good though. It just looks a little mysterious. Okay. 
Mm. I'd say it's on a scale of one to ten, this is like a a hard six. Like if you were starving, this is probably decent. Might give you a little heartburn or something. Cause it is salty and a little bit of acid going on there, but yeah. Not the worst. All right, let's move on to vegetarian barley stew. So I guess in this case, it did come with two stews. Again, humanitarian daily ration. Food gift from the people of the United States of America. Well, there is some stuff on the back. In the case if you forgot from the front, you open it, eat it, and be extremely happy. Happiest guy in the world. Look at that. Looks really weird. But I have had one of these before, and it's really good. This is probably my favorite out of any MRE, actually. Military, or these, or knockoff civilian ones. This is pretty good. I'm a little excited. And it is. That is good. I'm actually going to save the pepper packet, but... Usually throw that in there. Not the pepper, the uh, crushed red pepper. Give it a little spice. This has the texture of like oatmeal. Kind of how it looks. Texture of oatmeal. Not salty, not acidic. Like, if I was starving, or actually, if even if I wasn't starving, if I was just a little hungry, and someone handed me one of these and I knew what it was, or, you know, you take a bite and realize what it is, be pretty excited. Again, it's not very visually appealing. Like, that looks fucking gross. But, take my word for it, or find a case on Amazon or something, throw all the other stuff away and just keep these, and you're pretty solid. These are delicious. All right, moving on now to unfrosted toaster pastry, comma, brown sugar. Can't just say, you know, like Pop-Tart. I suppose that's a brand issue, but we just got to have that comma, that military stuff. Kind of like before with the spaghetti with meat and sauce. You can't just say spaghetti and meat sauce, you know, something normal. Got to name everything weird mm. there was no hiss there's not supposed to be though but I just got hit in the face with the smell of brown sugar these are damn good the unfortunate thing well actually it's not too bad in this case but you sometimes they're all broken in there I suppose if it got dropped out of an airplane from like 100 feet it would be even more broken but just from being on the ground, that was a bit broken. And it tastes how you think that it would. That is good. I don't know if it's just because I'm weird and I eat a lot of MREs, but I, or maybe it's because I'm getting, ah, shit. 
right. It landed on the pack. It's good. It didn't land on this disgusting floor. As I was saying, I actually prefer the non-frosted Pop-Tarts nowadays. Maybe it's because I'm old or because I got brainwashed by eating MREs, but I think it's better. You get to savor the flavor a little bit more of that weird chemical mm, shit inside. All right. Go for the fig bar here. Just says fig bar for the title. At least. There's a lot of other words on there. A lot of chemicals. Kind of scary. We don't want to read all that. But I'd be super stoked if these are the government lab fig bars. But probably going to be disappointed in this. Oh, look at that. It's got the happiest man in the entire world on there. Wait. He looks a little different on that one. He is not smiling. That is weird. I never noticed that. He is not smiling in this one. Maybe it's because he's not eating it yet. He just opened it. That's Yeah, that's probably it. All right. We need this point. It's Fig Newtons, though. And, yep, it's Fig Newtons. That's disgusting. You do get two of them, though. And again, these will be dropped on you because you're starving. Or, you know, something bad happened. And you won't just be chilling somewhere opening this and being disappointed if you open it and be like, hey, there's Fig Newtons in here. Let's see if we can find a date on this. 20th of January 2022? Wait, no. 6th of November 20? So I guess it expires January 2022. Well, it is now March 2024, and now I know why the last ones I had didn't taste very good. And we'll find out, oh boy, that looks unnatural. You think I'm going to bite into that? I sure am. That's what we're here for. It kind of fell apart, but yeah, that looks... It's not mold. It's just something. It's been through some shit, as one would say. Let's check it out. So that discoloration was actually the inside soaking into the bread, which actually made it taste kind of all right. Is this better than the last pack I had? I actually am a fan of Fig Newtons, by the way. I want you guys to think that I'm shitting on Fig Newtons. So they're all right. But this, for being two years expired, not terrible. It's good enough to finish. I'm going to save this other one. See, same date on there. Nothing exciting. And finally, shortbread cookie. You guys might be a little disappointed, but I am going to not open the peanut butter, jelly, and crackers. Because odds are, if you're watching this video and you made it this far, You've seen people, including myself, eat peanut butter and jelly and crackers. Uh, if you guys comment and say that you really want me to eat those, I'll do a whole video of just eating only those for like an hour. But until then, shortbread cookie. Wow, it's got the sad man on it again. He is. He's sad because. Wait, focus, focus. There you go. Nope. He is sad because he hasn't opened this yet. He broke his teeth on there. Before you eat this, look at that. It just says United States of America all over this. 
Look at that. That is one solid mass of shortbread cookie. So it doesn't taste very great. It definitely has the oil still in it. So even though it's hard as hell and dry, it doesn't really dry out your mouth. It kind of just like replaces it with a film of grease, which actually I have no redeeming qualities for that. That's not good. And it tastes kind of like vitamins, like Flintstone vitamins a little bit, but not too much, but like just enough that it's like something ain't right there. Yeah. Let's see, I'm looking at the ingredients on here of the shortbread cookie. And it's got some weird ingredients. Aneto, turmeric, or turmeric, depending on how fancy you are. Like, I'm not really sure why that would be in a cookie. Or Aneto, I guess, but again, this isn't an aid package being sent to Italy. This is, I don't know. I guess I'm just shitting on this cookie because it's not very good. And I wish that instead of putting these in all of them, that they would just only put the oatmeal cookie. Because as I said before, like usually I put the peanut butter and jelly on these, and now that I'm eating it by itself, it is really not that good. In fact, some of them that I've had that were like five, six years old, tasted better than this somewhat fresh one. So I guess if you're gonna get humanitarian aid relief and you open the shortbread cookie. Just let it sit there for like five or six years and then eat it and it'll actually taste pretty good. All right, so that's been the humanitarian daily ration, menu number one, food gift of the, or yeah, food gift from the people of the United States of America.